Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So this week I'm using the Planners Anonymous Christmas at Home Digital Kit to decorate Christmas week in my planner. So let's go ahead and get to it. So this week I'm gonna be using the Planners Anonymous Christmas at Home Digital Kit. If you haven't already seen it, go and check out last week's video um, where I did a, like a, a 3D kind of Christmas thing um, using this kit. It's so versatile. It's such a great kit. I really do love it. So what I've done is I've printed out a bunch of pages. I've tried to save a bit of time for this one. So I've got some of my leftovers from that. Um, I've got a couple of different ones of the pages. So I've got the, the tree. I've got some plain colors. I've got the poinsettias. I've also got some, now these are the scrolls, and then I've just written the days on there. We're going to do something special with those in just a sec. Uh, but then I've also die cut out a bunch of things, which I'm just going to kind of lay up here and around here, because I want to use these as die, like as, as die cuts, like that sounds silly. Um, but I want to use these all over it. And all I've done, just printed them out and cut them out. And then I've just gone around the outside with a black uh, Tombow marker. Just because I wanted to have a bit of something to kind of, not separate it from stuff, but just to sort of have something that makes it a bit more stand out -ish. I don't know if that's the right word, but we'll go with that. Just try and make sure I've got everything. Uh, and then the other thing I've got here is I've got the washi tape that came with this collection. So I'm going to use a bit of that as well. So to start off with, I'm going to go with my dates. So like I said, I want to do something special with this. This is the first time ever I'm trying this myself. So I've printed out the scrolls and then I have put the font the and I printed that just with an inkjet printer and then I've gone over the top with the laser printer and I want to see if this will foil. So this is kind of like a will it foil uh, video while we're here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use some gold foil with this. I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, we'll come up with something else. But let's go and give it a try. So I'm going to use gold foil for this and that's because it matches up with the... Uh, the foil on the washi tape. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and just cut this. My scissors need a clean. Definitely need a clean. Got a couple of little bits of leftover around the place. So I'm going to try and use up as much of that as I can. Always have little bits of gold foil hanging around so it's cool to be able to use up as much of it as possible. So now I've got this all covered. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and run this through the laminator and we'll see what happens. Okay, well it looks good so far because I can see it's stuck to something. So let's have a look. Oh. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So I'm I'm going to be happy with that. So it's just the the Saturday's a bit funny, the Friday's a bit funny, but the other ones are actually not too bad. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut these out, um, just fussy cut them. Um, I'm going to go as close to the edge as I possibly can and then do the same thing I did with the other die cut. So to um, put the Tombow marker all around the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we've got all my days ready to go, I can start sort of trying to put these down. So what I know I want to do is I want to go up over my lines. I still want them to be there but I'm gonna have some fun with some of this skinny washi tape. So I'm just lining these up, just so I can sort of start seeing where I'm gonna put everything. I'm gonna white out the Decembers at the top. And I'm gonna cover them up as well. I also did a spare one that says Happy Mail because I wanted that one to kind of join up with everything else. And then I've got all of my little bits here. So I know I wanna use this Jolly sort of in the middle. I don't quite know how I'm gonna do it yet, but. And then I've got some uh, mistletoe and some baubles and some quote kind of stuff and some presents. This is such a gorgeous kit. I really love it. Just grabbing the jolly part. So I've got presents. I've got poinsettias. I'm sure someone's going to tell me that it's actually a poinsettia. I always see the eye, but I'm just like, eh, I don't believe, I don't believe it. So, I really want to use this ho 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 though, and I'm trying to work out where I'm going to put it. Alright, so let's start with the washi tape. Start with the stuff that I know is easy. 
So I want to put the, the garland of the washi tape at the top. So I'm just going to move these off. I'm also going to take off really quickly all of my countdown and, and days of the week stickers. There's my O. Did I fly my J? Yeah, there it is. So I've got my jolly. <laughs> Funny. Um, so I'm going to put these, move these off just so I can work around them and I can put them back in. This is just the absolute most gorgeous washi tape. It's really stunning. And the good thing is it kind of, it's got this sort of bit on the top. So I, I go off the page, which I'm sort of going to do. So I want it to sit right on the line. I can just trim off the excess at the top and I'm not actually cutting any of this gorgeous washi off. So I'll just trim that down and then I'll go ahead and do the other side. really is gorgeous and then the other one I actually think it's gonna work beautifully on the bottom I wasn't gonna do it because I thought it was too easy but just the way that it sits with that garland and then the presents I think it'll just look gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and do that too and then again just cut off the excess on the bottom I need to work out where I'm putting my ho 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 or my jolly before I keep going. So I think I want to put the, the ho 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 sitting there. This is where I'm going to bring in some some of the skinny washi as well. So I want to have it alternating so it's going to go the red, the green, the red, the green, the red, the green. So I'll just go ahead and do that too and I'm going to go straight over the line so I'm going to try and keep it the same sort of size of the the box like um, the the area I guess is the right one um, so I'm, I'm keeping straight on the line I'm hoping that they're straight they look pretty good so far but I'm just yeah trying to stay on that line Alright, now I think I'll put the, the days on because then I can work out the rest from there. So I'm just going to be really boring and just use my glue tape for this. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper the same way I always do and stick these down. I could use my um, glue, not glue, sticker maker. I don't know, I just always find that I get better results with my glue tape anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. really love that I didn't think I would I thought they'd look too oversized but they really don't they look lovely and then I am gonna stick the ho 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 at the top and I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle so I'm gonna do the cutting first and then I can line them up side by side so again just gonna use your glue tape for this just being really careful because it is a little bit intricate on those little ribbon bits they were really hard to cut out, but they look really good. So I'm, I'm always happy to fussy cut if I get really good results. You could, of course, they don't come with a, a cut file or anything, but if you're someone that's clever when it comes to the silhouette or the cricket, you could probably find a way um, to do it that way. But I find this works too. So I will have to punch a hole right where that H is, which is kind of annoying, but it'll be okay. And I am putting it on the top more to kind of hide some of my ink from last week, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, I do want to try and make sure I get this lined up. 
So it kind of looks like it's hanging straight off that garland, which I just love. I think that's perfect. Okay. Punch the holes now so that I don't forget. Sometimes I worry when I punch the holes that I'm going to kind of ruin what I've done. But no, that looks fine. Okay. And so then I really, I'm tempted to sort of pull up. And this is, again, my favourite thing about my glue dots is that I can pull it up. And same thing with the washi tape. I'm thinking I may pull this up and put the it's the most wonderful time of the year there instead. Make Sunday a little bit smaller, which is fine. And then I can put the happy mail down over the top and that'll cover up the little bit that's missing. Keeps getting stuck because there's just some little sticky bits from where we pulled up the um, date covers and stuff, but that's fine. So I'm going to put this here and I'm actually going to cover up the, the edge with an ornament and I'm just going to put the Happy Mail down underneath. I have a lot of Happy Mail still coming at the moment, so it's probably not a bad thing. And then I think I'll put some holly. I'm going to put some holly there. Oops, that's where all that washi tape went. So I'll have to cut some off here, but that's okay. Punch that hole. Oh, that's lovely. So then I want to put in my other stickers again because I feel like if I don't, I'm going to forget them. So the Boxing Day, these are going exactly where they came up. Even the Christmas Eve one is going to slip up there underneath or next to the ho ho ho. And then we'll put the countdowns on. Okay, now we can finish this off with all the other bits. I really love that. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So. I have some tags here that I thought I might sort of put back to back and just have on the edges. Oh, sorry, those two are the decorated ones. Let's not do that. Then I want to put some of these baubles and stockings around. So I'm just going to play with them. I really don't like that little bit. So I'm just going to trim it off. Grab that Tombow and fix that up. Same thing for this one. I know why it's there. I just prefer it not there. I really want to put the jolly in. I really want to put the jolly in. So I need to just sort of find the spot for it. So actually, do you know what? I'm not going to put jolly. I'm just going to make it joy and just have it be just down. Oh, no, like that, just like that. I'm just going to pick that two days one up because it's still got the undo on it. It came up really easy. So this actual um, element is actually all stuck together and I just cut it out, cut them apart when I cut it out. And I just, I don't know, I should have made it just a little bit smaller. And I just printed these out however big I sort of thought they should be. But obviously they, they can be made smaller or bigger or whatever you want to do. Um, so I probably should have made it just a little bit smaller, but because I didn't, I'm just going to make this joy instead of jolly. Oh, that looks really cool. All right, and then we're going to put some ornaments and some tree, not trees. Um, let's have some fun here. And put that stocking there, which will cover up some of that sticky. This has lost all the sticky now, but that's okay. I don't want to cover up too much of the Happy Mail because I kind of need it. I do want to point set her somewhere here. Yep. Definitely need more holly. I really liked the holly sticking off the edge down here, so I'm actually going to do the same thing up there. I need to put the Christmas books. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to pull up that happy mail again. Not all the way this time, just up a little bit. I'm going to stack the books under the Happy Mail. And Christmas is at home for us this year. It's the first time that Ryan and I have ever thrown a Christmas. I'm very excited by that because I'm 
it's just, I don't know, you've never done it before and I've always wanted to. So it's going to be a fun one, I think. Charlotte's first Christmas as well, which is always a big deal, I guess. She won't remember a thing. She's going to be spoiled rotten. But we're going to have fun. Okay. Whoops. That poinsettia is lovely. I haven't used the papers, which I'm just thinking I might still need to do. I have left, oh, I haven't got much room for to-do lists, which I feel like I'm going to need a lot of this week. So I may come back for that in just a sec. I am trying to cover up some of the messy ink that I had last week, but that's alright. I really like the coming off the edge thing. I don't know why. It just looks cool. Okay, so I've got one stocking up there. I've got another stocking over here. I need to put that two back on, which is easy to do. Christmas Day needs a bit of glue now. I'm just going to put that down over here. And I've got these balls. They probably are a little bit big. Alright. Whoops. I have a spare. Love layering die cuts like that. It's cute. I really love this ball ball. I think it's actually my favourite. Okay. So I was going to cut off the excess. I feel like I'm lift, list, yeah, missing something down here at the bottom just something's not quite right just need a little thing of presents and then i will do a, a flipper i will do a skinny flipper so i'm gonna add in so in the christmas at home kit um like the the tn i got a notepad so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a couple of those pages and i'm gonna have them as the basis for my, I'm going to do a little a flipper. So it's just going to be as wide as it needs to be to hold these. I shouldn't have printed, got them all off like that. They've got stickiness on the top. Oh, speaking of stickiness. So one other thing I just need to fix before I move on to the flipper. So just underneath where Christmas Day was, there's just a little bit of stickiness left. I'm just using my razor to get rid of that. That's it. It's so simple to pull off. It's not an issue. Oh, I really like that. I love the joy and the, the most wonderful time of the year. I think they both look lovely. All right, so I've got my couple of pages here. I think I want to use that one. I'm really tempted by the poinsettias, but I think they might be just a little bit too dark. So I, I do really like this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the edges. Put it right up to the edge on that side. And I'm just going to decide which part of this I like. I think I like this bottom kind of corner. I'm just going to cut off, actually I like the top corner, change my mind. Just cut off a little bit at the bottom just so that it can fit in my trimmer. I could go and get my other one out, I just can't be bothered. And then I'm just cutting this to make it the right kind of size. There we go, so it's going to sit there. And I can put these, I'm going to make a little slit in there so they just sort of slip in. And then I think I'll put on the back. Um, I do really like this piece, but I feel like it's, it's just a little bit too close to what I've already got. 
So I might go with the I might go with the the Christmas tree. So I'm just going to stick this down straight onto the back all the way around the edge for now. When I pull this apart in a minute, I'm pretty sure it'll not quite work, but so I need to trim this down to be the same size. So I've gone in the middle on purpose. I'm just going to move that up there. So I'm just going to cut off the edge here. It does not matter at this point if I cut off a little bit of the other one because we've got some wiggle room. side to get rid of this water edge. That's fine. There we go. Just needs to be as wide as that list plus some room for the holes. Like I said, that tape will probably let go and that's absolutely fine because it doesn't need to be there in a second. There we go. I kind of like that it's got that Christmas at home thing right in the middle. That's kind of cool. And it actually hasn't, oh, it has let go. There we go. Oh, look, I've got my own little pocket without even trying. Ooh. Could I do a pocket instead? Too small. That's okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pull these apart. Again, blue tape allows me to do things like this. Actually, before I do, I'm just going to no, no, no. I was going to punch my holes first, but that's not a good idea. So I just need to trim. I cut a line with my craft knife so that I can slip those lists in there. So my lists here are what? Nine centimeters wide ish. So I'm just going to trim that, cut that. There. I'm sort of straight on here anyway, so I'm just going to follow this along. I'm just going to go up one more. I am a little close to the edge. I think it'll be fine. Let's cut that to 2 to 11. Just give me a bit more room. Go. Okay. And then I'm just going to check that this fits in there. It does. It just needs a little bit more, which I'll go this side. Cool. And I can go ahead, I'm just being really careful when I pull that up because I don't want to tear it, and stick this down. So at the bottom, at the top half of it, I can put as much tape as I like because that's not going to need anything to go in it. But then just down here on the edges, I'm just going to go just right along the edge there. And the other one's fine because it's got a bunch of tape on there from before. So I'm going to line this up again. I hope I can line it up straight. It's the only downside to cutting them together and then pulling them apart. Just hoping they go back together perfectly. There we go. So it still works with the little pocket. Be able to just slide these in still because I didn't put too much glue. Just using my ruler because it's got a bit more strength there. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. 
and then the other ones should just slide in really easy once you've got that first one in. Oops, I'm upside down. Should, it's my favourite word. Never actually works the way it's supposed to. It's just a bit sticky, but it'll get easier as that tackiness goes away. There we go, now I've got it. If I go further over towards the other side, it actually fits in there a bit better. Okay, so now I just need to punch my holes, which because we left some room down the side means we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just picking that up, making sure it sits in the right spot. Mark the holes, punch the holes. Making sure I don't want to add anything to the back. I think I actually might add some of the tags in. Plenty of room, didn't hit anywhere near it. This is stick on. So I'm gonna grab, where'd the other tag go? There it is. It's gonna punch that middle bit and I'm just gonna stick it there. I know it kind of covers up a little bit of that front, but I think it's okay. I know I'm not using my paper now, but I'm out of room on it and I don't need, don't want to open, or don't want to get another piece of paper out. And on the back. Punch that hole too. I could use some string on this and it actually would look really cool. I'm just worried about adding a little bit too much bulk to my planner. But some string would look really cute here. And I'm just gonna have those sit there. And I can write something, I can write like a remember or a title or something on there. I think that looks, just looks really cute with the tags. And then just to finish it off, I'm just gonna add one more bauble. one of the, the last point setters on the other side so put the bauble there oh that's so cute there we go so I'm sure I had another point setter here I'm actually gonna do a point setter and a holly I'm just gonna open this up mm. gonna get my mat a little bit dirty but that's okay I'm put the point setter there and just trim off the excess and the same thing with the holly at the bottom and then the last thing I'm going to do just so that everything matches so I rent around all of my edges for everything with that black marker so I'm just going to do the same thing oh I might need a little bit more glue here at the top I'm just going to do the same thing with the uh, the edge of the flipper I'm going to put a bit more glue here. Just so that everything looks the same, has the same sort of aesthetic. Aesthetic, it's a good word. So just being pretty quick with it, you don't need to be super fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. And look, I've just done a little spot on there, but honestly, you, you'd never even tell. Probably could do a bit more sticking together on the bottom as well, but I can do that later if I have to. I think I'm going to call that done. So I've got my little flipper. I know that covers up the ho 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 kind of look that you get, but I think it still looks really cool. I love that joy. That joy may be my favourite part. And then I've got plenty of, okay, not plenty of room, but enough room to write my happy mail in there. Still got my Christmas countdown going, and I actually really like that little subtle foil hit when you sort of move this tape, uh, move the page around you get a little hit of the washi tape and the foil on the days of the week which I just think is really cute. So there you have it that's my planners anonymous Christmas at home Christmas decoration this is of course the week of Christmas I still have one more weekly decoration to do though that I'm going to use a Christmas theme for and I'm going to keep you guessing because I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing um, but for everybody that celebrates Christmas I hope you have a very Merry Christmas this week I still have some exciting videos coming for the rest of the week though, so make sure you are subscribed so that you get those when they go up. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll follow me on my socials as well. They are linked down below. Have an absolutely awesome week and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.